Today's update is a very quiet week with just a small handful of patches and we got the reveal of the Gate of Aladinus drop rates. So with that said, let's look at it. The Gate has a variety of materials split into two reward buckets. For each cleansing of the Gate, players will roll three times on the first bucket, once on the second, and then a final roll on the rare item bucket. For a total of four guaranteed rewards with a 1 in 120 chance of a fifth. Looking at the unique drops, any of the rare main items, the two offhands, the script, and the prayer have a 1 in 120 drop rate or 1 in 480 for a specific item. You have a 1 in 120 chance to even hit this table and a 25 chance for each unique drop. So they're equally weighted. The fragment of the gate, the pet, is a 1 in 1500 chance with a threshold of 400. So every 400 kills or cleanses, the numerator will increase by 1. So up until you hit 400, you have a 1 in 1500. At 400, you now have a 2 in 1500. 800 will be 3 in 1500. 1500, so on and so forth. The latent memory has a 1 in 71 chance, and that appears in the seconds item bucket. And lastly, the After the Flood, which is the lore book, has a 1 in 10 chance, but has bad luck mitigation to where by 15 cleanses, it's near 100% chance. Anyways, that's it for the drop rates. If you enjoyed the video so far, please hit that like button if you're not subscribed yet, and you'd like to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Thank you. As I mentioned, the patch notes are pretty slim this week with the upcoming launch of Group Iron Man on the 28th, but let's look at what we do have. Hot fixed earlier this week, they resolved the randomness of the artifacts earned through archaeology in the Harvest Hollow. Ancient remains now give players the bones that they have the least of, and tweak the animation used and positioning of players when interacting with the summoning activity in the Halloween hub to improve performance in the area. Lastly, we have some engine changes. Fixed a disruptive bug with chat. Engine support for upcoming group Iron Man mode, added memory optimization focused around animation heavy areas, and improved animation system to reduce memory usage in newer areas. And that is it for your patch notes. Links to everything discussed in this video will be down in the description below. Head on over there to check them out if you wish to do so. If you missed last week's video, it'll be on screen now. Looking forward to seeing you there. And if not, I'll see you with the next RuneScape news coverage video. Till then, I am out. Aloha.